Welcome back to another Throwback Thursday. I was thinking, I was about to say Diecast Thursday, because I just recorded the new series video or whatever. So, this is Throwback. Throwback Thursday. It may be a little late, so I'll try to cut it short. But, this is just one of the times I almost died. And yes, I'm being serious. I almost died, like, three times in my lifetime. <clears throat> so... Be happy I'm still here. I mean, it's it, it's close. It it was weird. I like me in my vision, I personally remember only a few details. So the story may not be 100% accurate, but it'll probably be like 80, 90% accurate. So, this is what happened. And before the, well, actually before this starts, uh, don't be, like, scared of this. It's nothing, really. It's like a one in a thousand chance or, you know, something bad like that. Well, good. Good and bad, whatever. But, here's how it went. So, I needed to have my tonsils removed. So, you know, on the way to the hospital, we figured, you know, just go get it done. Needed to be done. So, after that procedure, uh, I woke up. Oh, well, I remember them, like, putting something on my mouth to make me sleep. And then, next thing I know, uh, I don't, okay, there's two parts of the story. I don't remember what happened, like, first or second, but there's two major parts, so I'll tell you. I guess it's what happened first, but I woke up to find myself coughing, just straight up blood on the bed. I was just sitting there just puking, coughing, you know, just whatever. And I asked mom what was happening. And he said, well, something went wrong. You know, like, like cut something wrong or something like that. It was just a mistake. And then, I, like, I was seriously almost died from blood loss. Like, that's how bad it got. And, oh, what else was there? They said they, like, changed the sheets, like, eight times before I woke up. I was like, first off, how in the world do you change a sheet? underneath me and get it back on without me knowing that gas must have had me knocked out hardcore anyway this is like i said this two parts i don't remember which one comes first but that's what i remember is waking up puking on the bed and then after that maybe i don't remember but well actually i don't remember what came okay this is what i, I think came first what I came first, so we went to get my tonsils taken out. Uh, they had it done. They got it, you know, correct this time. And they said I could go home. And mom asked if I could eat stuff. And they said yes. Well, apparently I, I either ate. I had Wendy's. I had, like, fries or something, a hamburger that, like, broke that scar or that scab. You know, whatever was in where my tonsils were, where they removed it. So I started, like, puking up blood, had to rush back to the hospital, and, uh, what else? Yeah, okay, that's where I remember, like, waking up. Like I said, I don't know which one came first, but I remember waking up, and they talked about the sheets and whatever, and then they transported me into an ambulance. And then there, I was rushed off to a better hospital, or something, it was like some different hospital, but what mom was telling me, she said she was riding on her tail, blowing red lights, blowing stop signs. Like, even though the back of an ambulance says keep back, that didn't happen. Mom was there straight on the bumper of that ambulance. But what I remember is there was a driver, obviously, and I was in the back. And there was some dude, like, just sitting there, you know, kind of talking with me, kind of keeping me awake. And I... I think, I don't remember who was there. No, it, I think it was just me. I think it was just me in the ambulance with that other guy and the driver. But I was talking about how I liked ambulance stuff and police stuff. And so they just had the lights on. They didn't have the siren. And I was telling them that I really liked the sirens and stuff. Like how I was a, like drawn to that when I was little. I still am, but now it's just police stuff. 
And then, so he told the driver to flip them on. He flipped the lights on, and, well, he already had the lights on, but he flipped the siren on. And, you know, I could just faintly hear it where I was, like, kind of going in and out. And he said, you hear that? He said, those are the sirens. I'm like, yeah, I know, it's cool. Well, th like I said, this is from what I remember. I was, like, really doozy and, like, half asleep, half conscious, like, losing blood everywhere. I, I don't remember 90% of it, but this is just what I was told and from my personal experience. So they, like, got me to the hospital. And I'm sorry, like, this is everywhere, but I don't remember if they changed the sheets there for the blood or that was before. I don't remember, but that's basically the story is it went it went wrong. Like for like I had Wendy's, it went bad. I was transported to the hospital or a different hospital. Mom was on the bumper, and when we got there, they like took me out or whatever. I don't remember that part because you know like, I was probably out at that point. And then like after that, I think this is where the blood and stuff came in, because. Yeah, okay, I think that's what it was. Like I said, I don't remember 100% because I was in and out the whole time. I was losing so much blood, I couldn't keep focus. But that's all I remember. I know it's kind of all over the place and weird. I'm sorry about that. But that is it for this uh, Throwback Thursday story. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, I'm really sorry it was everywhere. I uh, don't mean for it to be, but it was, unfortunately. So... I guess that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I just said, I'm sorry that it was everywhere. But, hopefully, you know, like, if I edit this right, it will be somewhat normal, I guess. But that's all for this video. Like I said, for the millionth time, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Clown shit.